<laughs> well, hello, welcome to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and just like with Tony Montana, I would like you to say hello to my little friend called WordPress 5.0, otherwise known as Bebo or Bebo, however you want to pronounce this. Now, with WordPress 5.0, we've got the biggest change to WordPress in a very long time, which is, of course, the new editor known as the uh, Gutenberg editor. Now, the challenge with updating your WordPress to 5.0 is that by default, you will no longer have access to the classic editor. As an example right now, I've got my WordPress 5.0 updated on my wordpress.taskcomputer.com website. Now, if I come in here and try to add a new page, you will see that I no longer have access to the classic editor. I now have to work with the new editor. Same applies to posts as well you no longer have access to the classic editor. So what I want to do here is to show you exactly how you can bring back the old classic editor so that you don't have to spend time uh, learning how to work with this new editor. But before we do that, I just want to spend a few minutes just to talk about the new 2019 WordPress theme. I do like the way it looks, to be honest. I think it's actually one of the better uh, themes that WordPress has released in recent times. I like the fact that you've got the uh, titles of the widgets being very big. I kind of like the font style and also the fact that you've got the uh, meta, the post meta information displayed neatly on one single line. I kind of like what I've seen so far. I haven't really used the theme extensively, but in my first impressions, I think that this theme is mo definitely much better than the 2018 or 2017 or even the 2015. Uh, themes that WordPress has produced uh, in the past years. Uh, there have been no new changes to the widgets as well. There are no new widgets. You still have the same uh, widgets as before. All right. So with that being said, let me now show you how you can uh, bypass the new editor and continue to work with the old classic editor. Now, the easiest way for you would be to go ahead and simply download this plugin known as the classic editor, and it is by WordPress contributors. So you can simply go ahead, download the plugin, and as you can see right now, it already has over 700,000 installs. So there are definitely a lot of people out there who still want to use the classic editor. So you can simply go ahead, download, install, and activate the plugin. Now, I have already installed the plugin. It's right here, you can see Classic Editor. I'm gonna go ahead now and simply activate the plugin. And then if you click on Settings in here, you will see the option of choosing the default editor for all users. You have, you've got the Classic Editor, and then you've got the Block Editor. And then you can also allow users to switch to editors if you prefer. So going back in here right now, if I wanted to add a new page, you can see that we now have the old uh, classic editor back. Now over here, there is a link that says switch to block editor. However, you can see that it's not changing. There seems to be some sort of bug with this particular uh, feature. It doesn't seem to work. You try clicking in there again, it doesn't work. However, if you come in here right now and type in some text for the title, and maybe even for the content area, uh, you come back in here, click on switch to block editor, you say, yeah, leave. And now you can see that it's actually now changed to the new Gutenberg editor. So this is a bug that you can bypass by simply typing in some text for your title and then your content area, and then you can make uh, the switch. Also, if you have any existing pages already in here, you will be able to simply choose directly either to go with the block editor or the classic editor. So this is one way how you can bypass the Gutenberg editor and work with the old classic editor. Now, the other way would be to completely disable the Gutenberg editor. If you don't like this editor, this, would, this is kind of like an extreme way of solving this, but it's rather easy. What you need to do is to simply go to your child theme. In this case right now, I'm gonna work with the 2017 child theme known as the press theme. I'm going to go ahead and activate the child theme. Now, if you don't know much about child themes or why you need to work with a child theme in this case, I will put the link in the description box below. I have a full tutorial on what WordPress child themes are, why you need them and how to create them. 
So I've already created a child theme for 2017. Now to disable the editor, I'm going to come over here to my theme editor right in here. And I'm going to go over to the theme functions.php. And then right in here where you have the write your own functions, I'm just going to come in here right now and add some text that says uh, disable new editor or disable Gutenberg editor, however you want to uh, phrase that. And then I'm going to paste in some code right here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the code. <laughs> Let me open up my notepad file oh, yeah, right here. All right, let me just go ahead and open this. That is my text right there. Add filter, use block editor for post, return false. That is the code. I'm gonna paste that. Don't worry, I will post this code in the description box below so you can simply use it. So you can go ahead, paste this in your theme functional.php for your child theme. You can update the file, all right? And in fact, let me just simply go ahead and disable the classic editor plugin so we don't have any conflicts. Let me just disable this. All right. Now, if I come into pages, try to click on a new page. Let's add a new page. You can see right now that the Gutenberg editor is no longer available because we have added the function to disable it. So there you go. Those are the two options, the two ways how you can bypass the Gutenberg editor. You can either simply install the classic editor walk with it and then whenever you feel like switching to the Gutenberg editor, you can simply click a button and switch. Or if you want to completely disable the Gutenberg editor, you can simply use the code that I have shown you how to use. Again, I will put the code in the description box below. So that's it for WordPress 5.0, otherwise known as Bebo. In the coming days, I will release a full long tutorial on how to work with the new editor how to create content, posts, pages, and so on. So if you enjoy our tutorials like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like, comment. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to assist and answer your questions as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Alex, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.